Hi, so as you know, me and Luke have been working on a couple of turbine designs that we got from oil drums. And that's because our mates down at Canterbury Automotive had a couple of oil drums. We just do so much with things that were donated or we found lying around. But like all of these things, there is in fact a problem. Now, the Savonius type oil drum that Luke did, it's easy to do. You cut that drum in half and it does a reasonable job. There's a ton of information around and about how they perform and what you can actually do with them. But like I say, there is a problem. In low wind speeds, this app is going to be awesome. But when it's in high wind speeds, it's going to spin like mad and take you to the land of Oz. But if I move it to here, <laughs> the high wind speeds are going to be no problem. But in low wind speeds, it's going to be pretty rubbish. So why is that? Well, pretty obvious really. When it's open up like that, it's got the largest surface area, it can catch a large volume of wind, and when there isn't much wind, you want to do that. Obviously, when there is a lot and it's trying to catch that volume, well, it's going to go crazy. Here, when we have it closed in the large wind speed, it will still turn because it's a sphere in a, uh, sorry, it's a cylinder in a moving current of air. So you will turn, just not particularly well. So if the wind speed drops down, of course, it's still going to be rubbish. So we want to do something. We want it to move from there to there, depending on the wind speed, and that's kind of cool. If we can do that, if we can get it to move from there in low wind speed to there in high wind speed, but back there when the wind speed drops, we have solved a huge problem on controlling these Savonius types in differing wind speed. Now, of course, we have an idea. I've got to wait on a bit of string, and watch this. <laughs> The weight is being thrown outwards. Of course, lots of people know that. That's centrifugal force. When you spin something and it's a weight, the weight will throw outwards. It's exactly the same way that a centrifugal switch works, a centrifugal clutch works, centrifugation works because of that principle. Of course, that's a problem in itself because we want it to go in, not out. And it wants to go out. I've got this structure here. There's gonna be a weight here, and here's my pulley. Imagine that it's spinning, and this one gets thrown out. Look what happens to this one. It moves in. It should be clear what it is. It's two sliding mechanisms in opposition, and of course we put the weight on this one, but we put the Savonius half drum on this one. So as it spins faster, the weight goes out, the drum will be able to move in because they're connected through that pulley and this whole structure would be on a spinning arm. That's an awesome idea isn't it? I have no idea if it's going to work. I could build a model or I could just build it. Guess what my next project is going to be? Right I've ordered a couple drawer runners which are going to go on here so make sure you keep an eye out for that next video. Anyway, that does bring me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions don't hesitate to put them in the Comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you later.